for today. Welcome to Home Biz Tax Talk. My name is Lysandra Everett. I am the Home Biz Tax Lady where I help home business owners win the tax game. Home Biz Tax Talk airs Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock-ish. And when you tune into my show, you're going to hear about topics that are important to the home business community. So in my quest to help 1,000 business owners become profitable in 2019, I am having these type of business discussions, right? These business type uh, training videos that don't necessarily um, is not a direct uh, tax topic, but it's certainly going to impact your taxes. And so today I want to talk about reviewing your performance quarterly, right? So one of the, the, the things that you have to do as a business owner is to review your performance. Because a lot of times what happens is that you get to tax time and you have no earthly idea how much money you have made. You have no earthly idea how much money you spent. <laughs> you know nothing about your books until it comes down to tax time. And that is the, that's the wrong answer. Just the long and short of it. Long, just the wrong answer. So we have, um, at the time of this video, we just finished up Q1. Okay. You should not get through April without knowing what you did January through March. Okay. And so this is, so this is something that we need to look at. So this is what we're talking about. All right. Uh, y'all heard me preach the gospel of bookkeeping. Okay. And this is kind of what bookkeeping does. Bookkeeping gives you a snapshot of what your business is doing. Okay. And that as a business owner, that's what you need to know. You need to know how you're working out, right? Just like on a job, you get a quarterly review. You might get an annual review where somebody sits down with you and says, okay, these are the things that we think you're rocking out at. And these are the things that we think you can improve. You might get a raise. You might not. You might get the, you know, the pink slip, right? So, um, so as a business owner, you have to do the same thing. So what are we looking at? Well, number one, we're looking at income, right? How much money have you made and from what sources, right? And, you know, so it's not just enough. It's not enough just to know that you made money. But also, where is the money coming from? If you have different sources of income, you need to know what's bringing in money and what is it. Number two is expenses, right? So you're spending money. Where is the money going? How fast is it going? And how is it helping your business? Because a lot of times we get so used to paying those recurring fees that we really don't stop to look at what is the return of investment on those, um, on those recurring fees. You know, so let's take, um, an autoresponder or an email marketing service, right? If you're building a business, you need some sort of way to communicate with your customers. And you think about it, the biggest retailers have mailing lists. So if the big people have it, you should too. That is something that you, if you're building a business, you should have a customer list that you're marketing to, right? And so you're spending money on this. How well is your email marketing going? Are you making sales from your email marketing? So you know you've got to build this list, but the question is, how effective are you at doing it? How effective are you at making sales? You might sit here and say, okay, I'm great at building a list, but obviously I'm not so good at selling uh, to this list. So then you need to go hire somebody to help you with your email marketing so that you can start to convert sales better through your email marketing, right? So this is how you start to evaluate things and you're really looking at things from the eye of a CEO and not somebody that's just in the thick of it. You have to really make those tough decisions about your business. And it might be that you're spending uh, money on something that is really doing your business no good and you need to cut it off. And that's okay. Because that is what business owners do. You make those type of decisions because your job is to run a profitable business, not to just put money in other people's pockets. Okay. And then, and then you need to look at your budget. Now, way back when, sometime last year, <laughs> late last year, we talked about setting annual goals and we talked about setting a budget. And so with your annual goals, you sat down and said, okay, this is how much money I plan or I want to make this year. We're, we're one quarter in. Are you one quarter of the way to your goals? 
If you're not, then you need to be, you need to be finding ways to reach your goals. Is it that you didn't make as much money as you expected? Is it that you spent more money than expected? Where are you on this goal? And then you need to be able to look at that and evaluate where the problem is so that you can make adjustments to then reach your goal. Okay? It's not acceptable to just go, uh, no, I didn't make that kind of money. So, you know, oh, well, right? No, you need to go back and look at why. Why didn't you make the money that you were expecting to make? Or you have completely bossed out. And you've made twice the money that you were you were intending to. You're over halfway to your goal, and you're saying, "Okay, what did I do that was so cool that I need to go and do that some more?" Okay, so it's not just enough to know that you made money, but why did you make money? If you lost money, the question is why? Why did you lose money? Did you wind up having to make a larger investment in something that you weren't expecting? Did you have some expense? Did you wind up having to hire a coach that you weren't expecting to hire? Something you need to explain to yourself. This is when you pull your own feet to the carpet and you ask yourself the tough questions. Why did you lose money? Why did you spend this money? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? And you have to be strong enough to ask yourself those tough questions so that you can make better business decisions. Because listen, if you hired someone to do the, the job that you're doing, you're going to want them to answer those questions. So you should have that same type of expectation from yourself. All right. And then look at the budget. We talked about the budget, right? Because people are like, oh, the budget is budget is so restrictive and all the stuff about the budget. Budget is you directing dollars. That's what you're telling your money. We're, uh, part of you is going here. A part of you is going here and a part of you is going there. And you look at the amount of money that you set for your budget and your various areas of expenses. Have you gone over budget? Are you under budget? Right. And, it, and it's important to know these numbers because then you can make informed decisions about your business and what to do next. And you're not flying by the seat of your pants. That is not how wealth is created. It is very methodical. So, yeah, you get a great idea, implement that idea, but you have to then go back and evaluate how that idea went. Sometimes the ideas go great. Sometimes they just don't. But you as a business owner, if you don't know your numbers, if you don't know how much money you're making, if you don't know how much money you're spending, if you don't, if you don't set a budget and set a plan, then you have absolutely nothing to go by and you just all over the place. All willy nilly. Right. And then you get to the end of the year and found out, find out that you didn't make any money. All you know is you had money coming in and money going out and, you know, everything was just honky dory. But you never sat down to look at any numbers to say what's going on. And as a business owner, you cannot do that. Do you really think the like you think about the greatest CEOs in the world? You look at a, a, a Jeff Bezos, right, because he all up in the news lately. Do you think that he doesn't know what is going on with his company's money? Do you think he is not asking his board of directors, his director of operations and sales? and all, Do you think he is not asking them what is going on with his money? No, he wants to know. You look at the Warren Buffetts of the world. You look at the Bill Gates of the world. They hire people to do these things and they ask them questions because they want to know what is going on with their money. Even though they got billions and billions of dollars, they're watching those dollars. And that's what we have to do. If you expect to grow a business, that's going to be more than just, you know, a little, little, a little side hustle. You know, if you just want a little side hustle, okay, that's fine. But if you are expecting to run a profitable business, you have to know what's going on with your books. And if you do not have bookkeeping, listen to me, that is the first order of business for this year is to establish some structured bookkeeping. Because that is how you're going to be able to look at 
your profit and loss statement, your balance sheet. And, you know, and this is what tells you what's going on with your money. This is what tells you what's going on in your business. This is what tells you how you're how you are really doing. So don't let the next month at the end of the quarter that next month, you should know what happened. And I would I would even challenge you to do it by mid month because then you have time to make adjustments so that then when second quarter is done, you can go back and compare first, you know, your Q1 to your Q2. Did you do better? Did you do worse? Okay, this is what business owners do. Okay, so I hope that gives you something to chew on, right? Get you some bookkeeping. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I am going to preach the gospel of bookkeeping until I die, right? <laughs> oh, and let me say this. Because a lot of times I hear, you know, I can't afford to outsource my bookkeeping. I totally get that. Okay. But what you need to do is you need to find a bookkeeper and I have recommendations. So if you need some bookkeeping recommendations, hit me up. I'm happy to help you out. But you need to get a bookkeeper that can set you up and then you can then, um, you know, you can keep your books throughout the year. And then you also want to schedule time with that bookkeeper to check in quarterly to say, hey, do I have this right? Is there something I need to fix? So, so that you can then still have good books and then, you know, and you will grow into outsourcing your bookkeeping. Okay. Cause sometimes, yeah, bookkeeping, you know, bookkeeping can be you know, a cost. And especially, you like I said, when you are just getting started out, you're bootstrapping, I totally get it. But it's, but it's a necessity. It's, this is an investment. This is an investment, a foundational investment that's going to help you grow so that you can be a productive business owner. That's what it's about. So you might have to baby step into outsourcing your bookkeeping. Totally get it. But you need to hire a bookkeeper to help you get your book set up. Take that investment. Okay? Do that. And then you will grow into other things. Because with that bookkeeping, then you can sit, you can really see how you're doing. Are you making the sales? You know, are you, are you overspending? These are the things that bookkeeping will tell you. So, yeah, that's <laughs> had to put that in there. All right. So, listen, thank you guys so much for tuning into Home Biz Tax Talk. Again, we air Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock ish. And you can come here to get your questions answered about your home business taxes. All right. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.